Hello and welcome to this video on ordering decimals. Now we have these four numbers here, decimal numbers, and we want to put them in ascending order based on their value. Now the key to this is comparing digits which have the same place value. So we first look at the units digit, and you can see that the units digit of every single one of these numbers is zero. So it's kind of a draw. We can't tell which one is bigger by looking at the units digit alone. So then we look at the tenths digit. So we can see this is the tenths digit here is four, tenths digit is four, tenths digit is four, tenths digit is four. Again, the tenths digit is the same for all the four numbers, so we can't tell which one is bigger. So we next look to the hundredths digit. So we can see the hundredths digit here, that's the hundredths digit here. There is no hundredths digit here. You can sort of imagine it as zero if you like. And then the hundredths digit here is zero again. So we can see that three of these hundredths digits are zero, and that one is one. So we know that 0.41 is going to be the largest. If I put four lines here to put them on, I know that 0.41 is going to be the largest because the hundredths digit is larger than the other three. So it's still a three-way tie between these three here. So we next look to the thousandths digit. So the thousandths digit here is one. This doesn't have a thousandths digit, so we can effectively treat it as zero if we like. This doesn't have a thousandths digit, so we can just treat it as zero. And this thousandths digit is four. And now we can order these because we know that zero is the smallest. So we can put 0.4, which is the original number before I added the zeros on the end. And then the next biggest number is one. So we got 0 0.4014. And then it's that one next, so 0 0.404. And there we go, they're in ascending order. And a mistake that students sometimes make is they think that 0 0.404 is bigger than 0 0.41 because they think, well, 404 is bigger than 41. But you can't compare the numbers in that way. You have to check the place value. Right, let's do the second one. We want to order them again. We can use exactly the same principle. Well, they all have the same units digit of 3. That's not going to help. But we can see that 3 is going to be the smallest because it doesn't have anything after the decimal point. Effectively, you've got zeros after the decimal point. So next we look at the tenths digit, where we've got five tenths, five tenths, five tenths, so it's a draw that doesn't help. But as soon as we look at the hundredths digit, that yields information. So hundredths digit is one, hundredths digit is two, hundredths digit is one. So we know that this one is going to be the largest because two is bigger than the ones. So we've got 3.52 as the last one. Now between these ones, well, this has four thousandths on the end, but this doesn't have the four thousandths, so we know that this one is going to be larger. And that one is a smaller one. And there we go, we've managed to put them in ascending order.